What is going on guys? It is Constable Chan back with another Madden 17 video. Today we got another uh, request to do a rebuild uh, from Cody Ross. He requested the Seattle Seahawks, so thanks for the comment and uh, thanks for the request. Um, so we're going to be jumping into uh, the Seattle Seahawks rebuild. Not uh, not so much of a rebuild, but um, I, I expect to make some moves and uh, get this team uh, to win a Super Bowl within uh, the two-year timeline. Um, so their top three players are going to be Russell Wilson, quarterback 93, uh, Richard Sherman, cornerback 93, and uh, free safety Earl Thomas 93. Very good defense. So let's uh, jump right into the franchise. Here we are in the franchise, guys. Um, I usually just go over um, the roster and see what uh, what they have. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we'll start off with quarterback Russell Wilson, 93 overall. Then they got uh, Boykin. Uh, he's a rookie out of TCU. And then Heaps, I guess they're, um, I guess Heaps is a rookie as well. Uh, running back, you have uh, Rawls. Um, in college, his nickname was Beast Mode, so uh, maybe he'll uh, be the next Marshawn Lynch. Um, pretty good uh, year last year, actually, so um, he's a pretty good player. Uh, they don't have a fullback, so they just got Luke Wilson there. He's a backup tight end, though. Um, wide receivers, you have Doug Baldwin, 92. Uh, Keir, or Curse, uh, 81, Tyler Lockett, 81, um, Paul Richardson, 69, um, who else do they have, Lawler, 63, tight ends, you have Jimmy Graham, 92, uh, Luke Wilson, 80, and Cooper Health at 72, so very good tight ends. Um, this is where it gets pretty, pretty dirty here. Um, the offensive line, they don't have one guy over 80 overall. Um, from watching the Seahawks over the past couple years, it they really doesn't matter what their O-line is. It, they seem to always play good, but I think Russell Wilson makes them look good because he's uh, he's hands down the best quarterback in the league at uh, eluding uh, defenders in the pocket and stuff. So, um, But uh, for the simulation, I'm probably going to have to uh, get some O-linemen or Russell Wilson's going to be getting sacked a lot. So... From left, left tackle, we have uh, Gilliam, 73, uh, Glaskowski, Gla, Glowinski, 73, uh, Lewis at center, 75, uh, Jahari Evans, 79, and then this uh, Ifidi, 73, he was their first round pick at a Texas A&M uh, offensive guard. Uh, Sowell, 76 overall, right tackle, uh, go to the defense here. Uh, Michael Bennett, 91 overall. Uh, Ruben, 76. Um, Sharon Reed, 76. He was a second-round pick at Alabama. He's a good player. Uh, Cliff Averill, 91. Uh, KJ Wright, 88. Uh, Bobby Wagner, 88. Um, Morgan, 72. They don't have uh, Bruce Irvin anymore. He went to uh, the Oakland Raiders. Um, strong safety, uh, Bam Bam Cam, 92 overall, hardest hitting safety in the league. Free safety, you have Earl Thomas, the ball hawk out of Texas. Uh, cornerbacks, Richard Sherman, uh, personally I really don't like him at all just because he talks trash. Uh, Jeremy Lane, the other side, and you got Brandon Browner. Um, wow, he's not very good anymore. He's six foot four, though, he's pretty big. Used to play in the Canadian Football League. That's why I know him. Uh, special teams. Uh, we have Hauschka, 81 overall. Good punter. And then we have another Canadian player in John Ryan. Used to play for my hometown team in the Canadian Football League. Um, pretty good punter, too. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, the roster so far. Probably going to be getting some offensive linemen um, to block Wilson. Um, I need to pick up a fullback from free agency. Um probably gonna just get another good wide out uh, that's usually good for simulations I uh, want to have the best offense in the league uh, looks like they play a 4-3 uh, might get another outside linebacker I could always easily trade for Shazier and move him to outside linebacker uh, he's a fast player he'll be good on the outside linebacker spot you know my safeties are good um, might pick up another corner, and uh, I think we'll be in business. So uh, let's uh, get this underway. Here at my first trade, guys. I'm not sure what Houston was thinking, but they accepted this trade. They traded. I traded Luke Wilson, uh, Curse, 
a third round pick this year for the best defensive player in the league, J.J. Watt. I'm not sure if I'll start him at defensive end or D-tackle. He could really play anything really in that 4-3 scheme. Um, if I play him at D-end, I could trade either Bennett or Averill, so we'll probably probably be doing that, so pretty good deal. Coming hot and heavy here, ladies and gentlemen. I traded uh, Averill. I needed to free up some cap space since I took a huge hit from taking on Watt. Uh, next year's third, this year's fifth rounder to Pittsburgh for Martavis Bryant and Shazier, who I always usually pick up Shazier, so uh, he's probably been in every rebuild I've ever done, so might as well keep uh, the streak alive. Another trade at you. Uh, again, I picked up Muhort from the Colts. Also, uh, Kelly, he was their first round pick this year, I believe. Uh, he's a center. Um... Really didn't cost me that much. I picked up Delmas and Rambo from free agency, so I just turned them around and uh, traded them. Uh, also, I had to throw in a second rounder from next year, so uh, very good deal. Another pretty good trade coming at you guys. I traded uh, Jeremy Lane, cornerback. He was my second best one, uh, which is unfortunate, but um, also this year's second rounder to the New Orleans Saints for uh, Nick Fairley, defensive tackle, and a left guard. Uh, Lee, Lee Little or something 81 overall left guard so pretty good deal another good deal I traded uh, defensive tackle Ruben and this year's 6th rounder for um, Roby cornerback from uh, the Broncos I'm sure um, a lot of you guys would do this trade um, basically what you do you know if you want a corner you just look for what team has uh, three pretty good ones and you could uh, usually get one of them for cheap because there's depth of that position um, so just look out for that this is my last trade, guys. I traded uh, Siliga, defensive tackle, 72 overall. I just, I'm just i on the trade block right now. I just wanted a backup quarterback, um, so I traded for uh, A.J. McCarron from uh, the Bengals. So I'm going to set my depth chart, and then we'll go over it, and we'll get this underway. I got my roster assembled, so let's uh, run through it really quick. So uh, Russell Wilson, quarterback, A.J. McCarron, uh, Trevon Boykin, quarterbacks. Running backs, we have Thomas Rawls, uh, Christine, Christine, is that a girl's name? Michael, um, two rookies here. Fullback, I picked up Lonnie Pryor. Wide receivers, we have Doug Baldwin, Baldwin uh, Martavius Bryant, Tyler Lockett, Paul Richardson, and Kenny Lawler. Tight ends, we have Jimmy Graham, Cooper Helfett, and uh, Nick uh, Vanette. Left tackle, we have Jahari Evans. I tra changed him from right guard to left tackle. And uh, Gary Gilliam. Left guard, we have Jake Muhort and Mark Glowinski. Center, we have Ryan Kelly and Patrick Lewis. Uh, right guard, we have Lit Lit Little. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. And uh, their rookie first round pick here. Uh, right tackle, we have Sowell and Hunt. Left end, we have Bennett and Clark. Right end, we have Watt and Marsh. Defensive tackles, we have Fairley, Reed, Hill, and Jefferson. Left outside linebackers, we have Shazier, and I picked up A.J. Hawk from free agency. Middle linebacker, we have Bobby Wagner, Mike Morgan, I changed from left outside to middle linebacker, and Coyle. Right outside linebackers, we have K.J. Wright and uh, Pierre Lewis. Cornerbacks, we have Richard Sherman, Roby, uh, Brandon Browner, Burley, McCray, and Simon. Simon. Uh, free safety, we have uh, Earl Thomas and then Jarrett. Jarrett, I picked up from uh, Free Agency as well. Strong safety, we have uh, Cam Chancellor and I picked up Nate Ebner, um, the rugby player from the States. Uh, Hauschka kicker, Richard Ryan punter, and that is going to be it for um, this. So we're going to sim and uh, see if we uh, make it to the Super Bowl, hopefully. Alright guys, here we are in the playoffs, in the wild card. Uh, apparently we're in the wild card. Looks like we're 12 and 4. I'm not sure how we're in the wild card at 12 and 4. At 12 and 4. Um, but uh, we'll take a look at some season-ending stats. Uh, Russell Wilson, almost 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. McCarron had two touchdowns as well. Quarterback sacks are really low, actually. Russell only was sacked 22 times, so that's good. Thomas Rawls, 1,139 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, Michael added um, five touchdowns on the ground as well. 
Receiving, Doug Baldwin had 1,067 yards, 11 touchdowns. Uh, Martavis Bryant, 778 yards, 2 touchdowns. Jimmy Graham, 797 yards, 8 touchdowns. Tyler Lockett, 737 yards, and 8 touchdowns. Go to blocking. Bobby Wagner led my team with 119 tackles. Tackles for loss was J.J. Watt with 19. I already saw that number. Quarterback sack, 16 for J.J. Watt. He was a good acquisition. Uh, Michael Bennett had 9.5. Um, uh, Jaron Reed, uh, six and a half as a rookie. That's good. Uh, Roby, four interceptions. Kicking, Hauschka, 80%. That's pretty good. Uh, Doug Baldwin had two kick returns for a touchdown, and Lockett had two punt returns for a touchdown. So very good special teams this year. So uh, let's do some uh, player progression here. Spend this XP. Hopefully the young guys got a lot of it, and they could... Uh, Good, good. Uh, looks like not really, but we'll uh, apply her there, and then uh, we'll get this underway here. Really didn't know I was in the wild card at 12 and 4. That's kind of goofy, but hopefully I don't have any big injuries. Uh, let's take a look here. Looks like everyone's in order. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I should roll over the 8 and 8 Philadelphia Eagles here. So let's uh, get this underway. Sim the week. With a team like this that's already really established as a powerhouse, I expect to win, and I think I actually lost. That's embarrassing. We lost to the 8-8 eight eight Eagles. Let's sim to the Super Bowl. We'll take a look at the score after. Pretty pissed off we should have won the Super Bowl, but uh, take a look at the what where we went wrong here. Um... Wow, the Chargers made it to the Super Bowl. That's a joke. Where are we? Wild card. Yeah, we got freaking blown out. What was the score? 49 to 24 we lost to the to a rookie quarterback. Wentz four touchdowns against me. Thought I had good pass defense. Ryan Matthews had three touchdowns. Holy crap. J.J. Watt, no, no sacks. Anyway, that's pretty disappointing. You know, uh, with a team like this, I expect to uh, at least make it to the Super Bowl, but we uh, lost in the wild card to an 8-8 eight and eight team, so that's pretty embarrassing. So uh, I guess we'll uh, go through the offseason and uh, start this again next year. So uh, we'll pick it up in, um, what do I usually go to? Uh, free agency recap right before the draft. All right, guys, we're in the, uh, the recap of the guys I picked up. I picked up DeMarcus Ware, uh, uh, Jokel was my biggest acquisition. Picked up a fullback. Uh, Ryan Matthews, um, Vernon Davis. I usually pick up these two veterans. Uh, also picked up Delmas, uh, Josh Gordon, uh, Chris Long, and uh, uh, Malcolm Smith is coming back to play with Seattle. So uh, I'm going to do the draft. Uh, I only have one first rounder and two sevenths, so it should be pretty quick, and we'll pick it up after the draft. Alright guys, uh, just uh, finished the draft. Wasn't very good besides my first round pick. Obviously a 79 overall cornerback. I went corner. Um, then I just picked a fullback and then just a mid linebacker in the 7th round. Usually 7th rounds are pretty pretty crappy. So uh, that's going to do it for this offseason. Uh, let's jump right into uh, the preseason in year 2. Jumping into the trades here in year 2. I'm just looking on the uh, trade block a little bit. Uh, so I uh, picked up uh, Brendan Albert left tackle. He's a good pass blocker which is good. Uh, just uh, basically... What I'm going to do now is just uh, get depth, uh, mostly at the O-line um, and other positions as well. You know, uh, the, I got I got playmakers basically at every position, uh, and I just need uh, some pretty good backups. So that's uh, the plan for this uh, preseason is uh, to uh, trade for players like that. So uh, I did this, uh, and it's a good trade. This trade, I traded f uh, my center, actually my backup center, Lewis, um, to, I uh, can't remember what team Barron was on. Um, the Rams maybe um, uh, left outside linebacker Mark Barron uh, he'll be playing uh, probably safety on my team um, so pretty good deal probably my last trade on the trade block I might do uh, one one manual uh, we'll see I traded for Cream Jackson cornerback from the Texans I traded them a right end a sixth this year and a seventh this year so uh, pretty good deal like I said, I uh, did a manual trade. I traded for DeCastro <coughs> from uh, Pittsburgh. I traded uh, Cream Jackson, who I just got, uh, Paul Richardson, and a next year's second-round pick. 
Alright boys, uh, got my 53 man roster ready to rip, so uh, let's uh, review uh, maybe some changes and stuff uh, from last year. Uh, quarterbacks are going to be staying the same with Wilson, uh, McCarron, and Boykin. Picked up this fullback in the offseason from free agency. Uh, Rawls, and then I brought in the veteran Matthews, and then we got this guy backing him up, so that's good. Wide receivers, we have Doug Baldwin, Josh Gordon, I brought him in. Brought him in. Tyler Lockett. In the slot, Martavis Bryant and then Lawler. Tight ends, we have Graham, uh, Vernon Davis, and Helfett. Offensive line is where I spent a lot of money. Um, we had Jokel, Brandon Albert, left tackle, Muhort, um, Muhort, and I'm not sure who's back at Biz. Uh, we got Kelsey and uh, Kelly at center. Right guard, we have DeCastro and uh, I can't even pronounce that guy's name. I'm not even trying. Right tackle, we have Sowell and Hunt. Uh, go to the defense quick. We have Bennett, and I uh, brought in Chris Long. Uh, we have uh, Reed, Fairley, Hill, and Jefferson. Uh, right end, we have Watt, and then I brought in Demarcus Ware. Right outside linebackers, we have KJ Wright and Pierre Lewis. Middle linebackers, we have Bobby Wagner, uh, Malcolm Smith, and uh, Chamberlain. Left outsides, we have Ryan Shazier and A.J. Hawk. Um, strong safety, we have Cam Chancellor and Mark Barron. Free safety, we have Earl Thomas and uh, Louis Delmas. Cornerbacks, we have Richard Sherman, uh, uh, Nieblet, uh, McCray. And on this side, we have Roby and Brandon Flowers. Uh, kicker and punter are uh, Hauschka and John Ryan. So like I said, um, Definitely have more depth at positions. I brought in a lot of veteran players like Demarcus Ware, um, you know, uh, Brandon Albert, um, Brandon Flowers as well, um, Louis Delmas, just to have depth, just in case a, a guy gets injured for a bit, is uh, is the plan. And uh, gonna start simming, and uh, basically anything less than a Super Bowl is gonna be a failure because this team's pretty good. Um, I'm like 370k. Um, under the cap limit so like I can't even make another move or if I wanted to so uh, it's either make or break here because if I have to re resign someone I'm probably screwed so um, I can start simming away and uh, we'll see where we end up all right guys uh, we are in the playoffs again in the wild card let's see how we did uh, 13 and 3 on the year so we had one more win than last year yeah one more win 13 and 3 that's good we led our division by three games Let's take a look at some stats here. Uh, Russell Wilson, good year. 4,192 yards, 46 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, only sacked 22 times. That's that's very good right there. Best year I've had so far. Uh, rushing, we had Thomas Rawls with 1,132 yards, 6 touchdowns. Ryan Matthews added 580 yards and 6 touchdowns. Russell Wilson rushed for 317 yards and 4 touchdowns. Receiving, uh, Doug Baldwin, 1,151 yards, 14 touchdowns. Martavis Bryant had 580 yards, 6 touchdowns. Jimmy Graham had 773 yards, 7 touchdowns. Tyler Lockett, 646 yards, 6 touchdowns. So pretty good year, very balanced offense. Uh, blocking, I really don't care about. Uh, Bobby Wagner led in tackles again with 111. Tackles for a loss was J.J. Watt with 19. Quarterback sacks, probably Watt. Yep, Watt with 12 and a half. Uh, Michael Bennett with seven and a half. Interceptions, Richard Sherman with four. Hauschka, 76% kicking, but, you know, with a low amount of kicks like that and you miss a couple, then your percent's low. John Ryan, 45-yard uh, average punting. Earl Thomas had a kick return for a touchdown, and Lockett had another punt return for a touchdown. Good year from the guys here. Take a look at how much uh, XP they had. I think uh, quite a bit um, XP should be had since uh, a lot of players had uh, career years. Russell Wilson. So let's uh, auto upgrade this and see if uh, anyone went up in overall. That'd be nice heading into the playoffs. Like I said, uh, anything less than the Super Bowl is basically a fail. Um, this team's very good. Russell Wilson's 97 overall. Holy crap. Uh, throw power 93, short accuracy 97, mid 94, deep 90, awareness 92. That's unreal. Um, Doug Baldwin's a 93. I think Lockett might have went up a bit. 
It looks like Rawls is injured, so Matthews is starting. Mar Martavis Bryant went up by two, I think. Um, who else do I notice here? You know, Kelsey and Muhort have the confidence boost. Muhort went up by a couple, I think, still. On defense, um, I think Fairley went up by a couple. KJ Wright went up, I think. Um, Shazier's injured. Got a couple injuries heading into uh, playoffs. Um, so let's take a look at those. Hopefully nothing too serious, but it looks like everyone is going to be out for the rest of the playoffs, which is all right, I think. Um, let's see him next week, see who we uh, match up against. Uh, the ten and six Rams. So Goff and the boys are in. Yeah, I think they're in town to take on uh, my thirteen and three Seahawks. So uh, let's advance the week. Hopefully we get that that W. That would be very nice. And we do. We play the ten and six Cowboys in the conference final. Sim to the uh, Pro Bowl week. And looks like we play the Bills in the Super Bowl. Rex Ryan. Tyrod Taylor, they went 10 and 6 on the year. Returning from injury, who's this? Whoever it is is starting. Oh, Shazier's back, that's good. Good for the linebacking core there. Uh, we are playing the Super Bowl in Minneapolis in their new stadium. That's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, so let's uh, sim to the offseason, see if we uh, get our Super Bowl here in Seattle. This would be my second Super Bowl in the rebuild. I think I won one with uh, the Bengals but they're kind of the same situation they got a uh, they got a good team so you basically just get more more good players and you're set so that's what I did here alright we are in the off season let's take a look at um, schedules I wanna see what the score is see what the stats were um, postseason Super Bowl we got the win with the Seahawks we won 45 to 21 um, so we ended the year on a high note. Russell Wilson, 361 yards, three touchdowns. Um, we didn't really run that good. Oh, we had two touchdowns with my backup, so that's good. Receiving, Baldwin had a big, big game. You know, Jimmy Graham had a touchdown. Lockett had a touchdown. Take a look at some defense here. Um, Michael Bennett had a sack. Richard Sherman had a pick, KJ Wright had a pick, Hauschka had a field goal, so all around a very good um, year with the Seahawks. We went all the way, won the Super Bowl. Uh, probably can't re-sign half the players that I brought in. They're probably going to have, have contracts. Big decisions. I see Bennett there, so that's going to be a lot of money. But look at uh, look at the when you win games, uh, your players obviously get those boosts, which is very important. It's better than having having them in the red and uh, them go down in overall. So winning games is important. Uh, a lot of good players on the Seahawks team. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again, uh, Cody Ross, for requesting the Seahawks. For uh, videos coming up, um, I have a guy that requested the Eagles, so I'm going to be doing them. I might not be doing them today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, also going to be doing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I might be doing the Bucks today. Um, so uh, look out for that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you in another video.